In this example, we will use portal method to solve the reactions at support A of the two-story moment frame. Support A, B, and C are fixed, and all the joints in the frame are fixed connections. Portal method is an approximate method to solve statically indeterminate moment frame by making assumptions of lateral load distribution in the columns in order to reduce the moment frame to a statically determinate structure. Before solving the problem, we need to determine the degree of indeterminacy of this two-story moment frame equals to R minus 3M. This frame contains closed loops, so we need to cut the loops open. After the cut, the frame breaks into three separate members, and we get N equals to 3. The total number of reactions R equals to 4 cut sections times 3 reactions per section, plus 3 reactions at A, plus 3 reactions at B, plus 3 reactions at C, equals to 21. The degree of indeterminacy R minus 3M equals to 21 minus 3 times 3 equals to 12. Therefore, we need 12 additional equations or assumptions to reduce this frame to statically determinate. Now, we need to make assumptions for the frame using the portal method. First, we will add a hinge at the center of each beam. This will reduce 4 degrees of indeterminacy. Second, we will add a hinge at the center of each column, and this will reduce 6 degrees of indeterminacy. Then we assume that at the second floor level, the interior column takes twice of the lateral load as the exterior column, and this assumption provides one additional equation which reduce one degree of indeterminacy. Last, we assume that at the first story level, the interior column takes twice of the lateral load as the exterior column, and this reduce one degree of indeterminacy. Now, we have reduced 12 degrees of indeterminacy, and the moment frame has changed to a statically determinate structure and we can solve the internal forces and support reactions by using the equations of equilibrium. According to the loading paths, the columns will take all the loads above them. At the second story level, the sum of the column lateral loads equals to 3 kips. The lateral load in the actuary column ID and the GF is denoted as V and the lateral load in the interior column HE is 2V. So we get V plus 2V plus V equals to 3 kips for the second story columns, and we solve V equals to 0 0.75 kips. At the first story level, the sum of the column lateral loads equals to 3 kips plus 4 kips equals to 7 kips. The lateral load in the exterior column DA and FC is denoted as V prime. And the lateral load in the interior column BE is 2V prime. So we get V prime plus 2V prime plus V prime equals to 7 kips for the first story columns. And we solve V prime equals to 1.75 kips. Next, we need to break the structure at the hinges and draw a free body diagram of each member. There are two connection forces at each hinge. Then, from the top down, we will calculate connection forces at hinges and support reactions. For member 1, we know that the lateral force in the column ID is 0 0.75 kips. So, the connection force of Kx equals to 0 0.75 kips. Now, there are three unknown connection forces for member 1, 
and we can solve all unknown forces by equations of equilibrium. Summing the moment at the point M and assuming the clockwise moment is positive, we get 0.75 kips times the arm of 7.5 feet minus ky times the arm of 9 feet equals to 0. And we, we can solve for ky equals to 0 0.625 kips. For member 2, we, we got kx equals to 0 0.75 kips and ky equals to 0 0.625 kips. And we also got jx equals to v prime equals to 1.75 kips. So there are three unknown connection forces left, jy, lx, and ly. And we can solve these unknown forces by using the equations of equilibrium. Summing the moment at the point L and assuming the clockwise moment is positive, we get 0 0.75 kips times the arm of 7.5 feet plus 0 0.625 kips times the arm of 9 feet plus 1.75 kips times the arm of 7.5 feet minus jy times the arm of 9 feet equals to 0. We can solve for jy equals to 2.71 kips. For member 3, we have got jx equals to 1.75 kips and jy equals to 2.71 kips. And there are three unknown reaction forces at support A, ax, ay, and ma. Sum the forces in the y direction, we get 2.71 kips minus ay equals to 0, and ay equals to 2.71 kips. Summing the moment at the point A and assuming the clockwise moment is positive, we get 1.75 kips times the arm of 7.5 feet minus ma equals to 0. And we can solve for MA equals to 13.1 kip feet. The X direction forces at support A, AX equals to V prime equals to 1.75 kips.